What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are heading to a small inland lake to do some crappie, bluegill, pike fishing, bass fishing, whatever. So uh, we got about half an hour drive, gonna stop at Walmart, get some snacks, get some wax worms, and we'll be out there. So see you then. All right guys, just made it to the lake here. Got the sled all packed up. Just gotta walk out there, drill some holes, catch some fish. Let's go. All right guys, it was a short walk. I'm out of breath though. Um, I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes to start off with and then just kind of start hole hopping and see if I can't get on a fish. So let's go. Go ahead and fire up the auger and get drilling some holes. I'm out of shape. All right guys, I hope you can hear me. I'm just gonna start getting my stuff ready to go here. It's snowing a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't mess with the cameras. I'm just gonna try to get on some bluegill and crappie here. It's still, we got like a low light kind of conditions going on. We got like three inches of snow last night. And it's overcast this morning and still snowing, so. We're gonna have low light here for a while. Hopefully that makes the crappies bite good. I know they're in this lake somewhere. Go ahead and get my rods out. Go ahead and start with this. Stay in there, buddy. Not yet. Start with a little teardrop and a wax worm. See if I can't get them on that. So I haven't had the camera running. Caught one, two, six here, and I already had five before that, so I have 11 gills right now. They are literally waiting for me down there. And they're good ones too. 
There we go. That's a good one. There's a nice bluegill. Finally, I got one on video. I was catching them like crazy, turned on the camera and couldn't catch them anymore. That's alright. I didn't have the camera running, but I uh, just caught this nice crappie. That's what I was looking for today. And I couldn't catch any. I don't know why. But, got one. Alright guys, quick little update. I have 15 bluegills and one crappie. <laughs> so I didn't get it all on video. Actually, most of them I caught off video. Um, I just, I found a school of fish and forgot to turn on the camera on, so. Now, I'm gonna get some tip ups rigged up. So, I'm gonna get these all rigged and go set them out, and hopefully, I can have some action on these to show you guys. So, we gotta fly, guys. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a little pike. <laughs> go ahead and let him go. Hey. Just looking at something big. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing small pike. Yep. Not even that small. <laughs> That was out of nowhere. Holy crap. Give me my jig back. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure how big he is. He's probably 22, 23, 24, somewhere in there. I mean, he might be 24, but he's really skinny, so we're going to let him go. All right, guys, just to give you a little update, it is sleeting out. <laughs> You can probably hear it on the shanty. I got two tip-ups set out. Both the flags are down. I have, what is it, eight, no, 17 bluegill and a crappie. And I just caught a little pike on my jigging rod. I got a little bit of that on video. And I'm just slowly kind of picking away at some fish. Caught one pike on a tip-up, had another flag. It was really, busy or really hot and heavy at first but now it's kind of died so hopefully we'll get on again here soon got a flag <laughs> spinning it's spinning it's spinning it's spinning and it stopped <laughs> Well guys, that's a wrap for today. I uh, finished out my limit of bluegill and I got two crappie in there too. So uh, I didn't get a lot of it on video. It's hard to film catching bluegills and stuff like that because they're so sporadic and you have to move around so much. But I got one pike on the tip up there and there are two on the tip up on camera. So I'll put together a little video and hopefully you guys enjoyed.